Hello students, the aim of today's experiment is to study about callus induction and plant regeneration. First, let us see the equipments required for the experimentation. The equipments required include autoclave, pH meter, magnetic stirrers, magnetic beads, weighing balance and laminar airflow. Next, let us see the other materials required. It includes reagent glass bottles, spatula, tissue rolls, distilled water, cotton plugs, aluminum foils, scalpel handles, sterile blades, forceps, borosil glass test tubes of the size 150 mm into 25 mm, preferably without rim, containing Murasige and Skooks on MS 1962 medium, marker pens, fresh young leaves of Strobilanthus cushia. Next is the Kellus medium. For Kellus induction, we will be using MS medium supplemented with 3 mg per liter 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid or 2,4-D. Next is the Shoot multiplication medium. For this, we will be using MS medium supplemented with 1 mg per liter naphthalene acetic acid or NAA in combination with 1 mg per liter kinetin. Next is the root induction medium. For root induction, we will be using MS medium supplemented with 0.5 mg per liter NAA alone. Let us see the theory or principle of the experiment. Callus in plant tissue culture is defined as an unorganized proliferative mass of cells produced from isolated plant cells, tissues or organs growing aseptically on solid media under controlled experimental conditions. Callus like tissue is also found to form naturally in various parts of intact plants stimulated due to deep wound or some diseases caused by agrobacterium tumefaciens, sensitrium endobioticum, some viruses or insects etc. and such callus like outgrowth is known as gall or tumor. But the callus in tissue culture is produced experimentally when explants cultured under the influence of exogenously supplied hormones. Now let us see callus induction. The most suitable explants for successful callus formation are often young tissues of one or a few cell types like the pit cells of young stem. Callus induction on explants in vitro generally initiated from peripheral layers as a result of wounding and in response to growth regulators either endogenous or exogenously supplied in the medium. Callus formation from explants initially involves de-differentiation both in morphology and metabolism and as a result callus is usually composed of unspecialized parenchyma cells and the cells lose the ability to photosynthesize. The callus growth within a plant species is dependent on various factors such as the original position of the explant within the plant, the season of the year, growth conditions of the donor plant, the age and physiological state of the parent plant and the culture medium and conditions etc. The presence of auxin at a moderate to high concentration and a low concentration of cytokinin in the medium promotes the formation of callus and callus culture is often performed in the dark as light can encourage differentiation of the callus. Callus tissue from different plant species may be different in structure and growth habit and may be white or colored, 
sharp or watery or hard and friable that means easy to separate into cells or compact next is the callus multiplication Callus may be serially subcultured and grown for extended periods, but the composition and structure of the callus tissue may change with time as certain cells are favored by the medium and come to dominate the culture. Actively growing callus can be maintained on culture media with an even physiological balance of cytokinin and auxin. The callus biomass usually increases 2 to 4 times after 2 to 4 weeks of growth, after which the callus can be divided and placed on fresh medium for callus multiplication and the multiplication process can be repeated several times up to 8 sequential transfers before gross chromosome instability or contamination occurs. During long term culture of callus cultures for some plant species, the culture may lose the requirement for auxin and or cytokinin and this process is known as habituation. Next is the differentiation and plant regeneration. Usually, callus cells proliferate without differentiating. But eventually, differentiation occurs within the tissue mass and the extent of overall differentiation usually depends on the hormone balance of the support medium and the physiological state of the tissue. Multiplied callus can be stimulated to form suits by increasing the cytokinin concentration and decreasing auxin content of the culture media and the suit mass can be cut apart and transferred to rooting medium to obtain complete plantlets. Now let us see the procedure of the experiment. First, rinse the young leaves under running tap water and then put the plant material in a jar with screw cap lid containing water and wash with 0.1% detergent for 3 to 4 minutes. Gently agitate the content of the jar every 20 to 30 seconds during the washing step. Now pour off the detergent and rinse the plant material with tape water and keep the container. Spray the container with 70% ethanol and bring it to the sterile workbench of the laminar flow. Now spray the sterile workbench of the laminar flow with 70% ethanol and also spray vessels and all tool packets containing battery dishes, forceps, scalpel handle, razor blades, etc. with 70% ethanol before placing them on the work surface. Remove the cap of the container containing the plant materials and pour 0.1% mercury chloride solution and replace the cap. Wash the plant materials by intermittent sacking for 6 minutes. Pour off the mercury chloride solution and pour sterile water over the plant materials and rinse the plant materials for 2-3 to three minutes by gently agitating. Repeat the rinse with sterile water for 3-4 to four times. Open the cotton plug of the culture tube containing MS medium supplemented with 3 mg per liter to 4D and flame the mouth of the tube. Flame the forceps and cool them by touching the medium in the culture tube. Use the forceps to hold explants and place it on the medium by gently pressing so that the explants make contact with the medium. Replace the cotton plug of the culture tube and mark the tube with date and details of the experiment. Now incubate the culture tubes in a growth chamber 
provided with 16 hours light and temperature maintained at 25 plus minus 1 degree Celsius for 5 to 6 weeks. Observe the culture every week. After about 2 weeks, keli may start appearing on the surface of the eggplants and friable keli will be formed after about 4 weeks. The growth curve for the callus was established by measuring fresh width in 4 days interval during a 32-day period followed by subculturing every 32nd day. After proliferation of keli, the keli were subcultured in regeneration medium consisting of MS medium supplemented with 1 mg per liter naphthalene acetic acid or NAA in combination with 1 mg per liter kinetin. After 4 weeks of culture, the soot birds were then separated and cultured on MS medium supplemented with 0.5 mg per liter NAA alone for rooting. In vitro rest healthy plantlets were then taken out from the flax after 4 weeks of culture and gently washed with sterile distilled water to remove the adhering agar medium completely. The plantlets are then transplanted in perforated paper cups containing sand and soil in the ratio of 1 is to 1 and kept covered with clear polythene bags having a few holes on it for the initial 10 days for hardening. The plantlets are maintained in a 50% shaded net house under high humidity for 10 days and the polythene bags were finally removed. Four week old hardened plants were then transplanted to bigger earthen pots or to the field. Let us now see the results of the experiment. The explants produce callus on callus induction medium after 4 weeks of culture. After the callus were subcultured on soot regeneration medium containing 1 mg per liter naphthalene acetic acid or NAA in combination with 1 mg per liter kinetin, soot birds appeared on the surface of the explants. The soot birds showed the induction of rooting on MS medium supplemented with 0.5 mg per liter NA alone. The in vitro regenerated plantlets showed 70 to 80 percent survival during transplantation. Thank you.